Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Pro Productions, and today you're going to learn how to green screen in Sony Vegas. Now, here's a test clip I put together, and uh, I ask of you, uh, please don't judge me. Uh, you embarrassing. Check it out. <coughs> All right, so that was pretty cool. Um, this is gonna be really easy, and I'm telling you, you're gonna impress your friends. Uh, you know, tell them you went to the beach, but really you didn't. You're really at home watching some Desperate Housewives. Uh, you just don't want to tell them you're watching it, so you tell them you went to the beach, and you know this is all you gotta do. All right, let's get started. I already imported my footage straight from my camera of me on the green screen. Um, as you can see, there is no shadows, which uh, you just gotta do by good lighting. So make sure you have no shadows uh, on that are projected from you onto the green screen for it'll be really hard to key out. Um, you can achieve this by standing further away from the green screen. Um, but we're gonna go to the video effects tab and go to Chroma Keyer. And then we're gonna drag in the pure green screen effect. Mm, fancy. All right, so first things first, we're going to tell this plugin what color we want to key out. Now this green that's given to us, like a lime green, is pretty good and it does the job well, but uh, you can adjust it to fit your color, your green screen much better. If you can't figure out, use the teardropper tool, unselect this, and then just teardrop onto this to get the exact color. But for me, this lime green is working out pretty well. So. We have three options after we figure out the color. Low threshold, high threshold, and blur amount. Uh, now to explain these better, we're going to go to the show mask only. Now it's black and white. Uh, this is called a matte. And basically what we're gonna do is try to make this a pure black and a pure white. The low threshold will control your black, and then your high threshold will control your white, and then the blur control will blur where the black and white meet up. So we're going to leave the high threshold at 1 and let's adjust the black. Um, as you can see it's a gray as we, but it gets darker and darker as we pull it up and we're trying to get it a solid black like so. And then we can adjust the white just a little bit. And we're trying to achieve no gray areas, all pure black and pure white. But it's okay if you can't get all pure black and pure white. These little gray edges and stuff will be okay in the final image. Just adjust it uh, later. And then we can do the blur amount. Now this really bugs me when people do green screens and uh, you know they pull the blur amount to 100% to because they, they think it makes it look better. And uh, as you can see, it just gives us a glowy edge and doesn't look real. To make it realistic, you want a harder edge. Uh, the, the, the point of this is to is to attempt to keep this at zero, but you know that just won't work. Um, so we're just going to bring it up just a little bit, just so it uh, doesn't look like such a hard pixelated edge um, that the mat created. But we don't want it too much because we want it to still look realistic. So if we uncheck the show mask only option, uh, we can now see that this looks pretty good. If it's if your green screen is now black, then that's what we want. And make sure the edge around your uh, character or actor uh, is what you want. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to close out of that. And now we're going to add in our background. So we'll go to the Explorer tab. And here I am in the textures of Sony Vegas Tutorials and Essentials. Uh, this is a product Bra Productions made. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Check it out at broadproductions.net under the products page. So we'll just drag this symbol texture down onto our composition. Remember, you want it below your footage for these are layers, so you want your actor on top. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and go to event pan crop button and click the maintain aspect ratio. Click it to no. So essentially, it stretches itself out to fit our composition going from 4.3 to 16.9. Um, Move this to fit that, and there we go. That's looking pretty fancy. But uh oh, we have a problem. Uh, in our footage, the green screen is cut off in one edge. No problem. Masking to the rescue. Uh, on our original footage, we're going to click on the event pan crop button, and we will. Oh, it's freaking out. Like, we'll go to mask, check mask, and then we'll go to the pin tool. 
and we'll click that and we'll just make a simple mask around the edge of the green screen this technique is only good for if your actor does not interfere with this like if his or her hand goes into the scene then essentially what you're gonna have to do is mask out their hand frame by frame and that is very time consuming but I do not get in the way of this so it does not matter so we have made our mask and then we're gonna go to path and click negative so essentially uh, it what we made a circle around does not show up so we'll close out of that and now we look at our footage and it is gone BAM that looks good um, now we are almost done but then we have one more thing we have to do to really sell the effect now 95% of the time your actor is not gonna have the same uh, color curves in your footage to match your background like you know I have a very cool feel to me right now compared to the background which is a which is a which is a warm feeling being yellows and uh, browns so we will go back to the video effects tab and go to color corrector we'll drag in reset to none now depending on the color of your background being warm or uh, cool you're gonna change it around we're gonna put this at some yellows uh, and some reds and just drag it around until your 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 footage matches successfully uh, that looks pretty good and you can adjust the uh, saturation if you need to the uh, and, uh, just to really make it match the background and that looks pretty fancy so we now have successfully keyed out our actor and made it match the scene congratulations you can do a lot of cool stuff now um, hope this helped make sure to post a video response of your work if this tutorial helped and as always check out broadproductions.net well have a great day everyone hope all is well